wonderful ones who have a lot that they care about and are worried about every single one of your futures. Can we give them all one big round of applause, please? Thank you guys so much. So, to make sure that they understand the weight of those promises and what that means for the future generation, I have what I think is one of the coolest climate strike speakers that we've ever had. I want to introduce you guys all to one very, very special, unique individual, and I want to make sure that I get her age right to show everyone exactly how young we're talking here. This is what the future looks like. Working in elementary school to make sure that you're fighting for a just and livable planet. I have Helene here. Helene is in fifth grade, and she's going to tell you guys what it means to fulfill those promises to make sure that we have a just and livable future. Everybody give it up for Helene! Scottish Island. Inside its belly, scientists found 220 pounds of garbage. Um, I thought to myself, holy cow, that's a lot. And it was surely for that poor whale. But then I learned that 220 pounds is less than a drop in the ocean. Just one person in the U.S. throws away 10 times that amount in a year. Then I learned 2.6 trillion pounds worldwide ends up in our landfills and in our oceans. What the heck is up with that? It's up to us to save our planet. We need to demand our responsible products and packaging. Imagine a world without trash. Thousands of products from shoes to toys to flooring to toys um, could be made to, to actually clean our earth. Could Think about how you can make or break our planet. We need to, uh, with just your buying power, no one is too small to make a whale of a difference. Be sure to spend your money on products that are cradle to cradle, because otherwise, you're literally throwing your money into the garbage. <laughs> Keep it up for Helene! Thank you so much. I heard the screams and I didn't know that we were done yet. I thought she was still just killing it, spitting straight fire. This is the future of our generation and our planet and it's the voices that are the youngest, the most marginalized, and the ones that don't even have the right to vote yet that we need to be listening to. So everybody give it up. That took a lot of courage. Give it up one more time for Helene! Alrighty, so at this point we are going to be having a brief break so that everyone can use their voices to make a difference. Anyone who's on the Arizona Youth Climate Strike team, please come up here. Everyone, can you look at Riley really fast? Riley's going to wave his hand around. He has a legal pad if you are interested in getting involved with Arizona Youth Climate Strike and all the other wonderful NGOs and nonprofits here in Tucson. Additionally, 